Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we've been invited to Battleship Cove in Fall River, Massachusetts, where they host the PT Boat Museum. And the PT Boat Museum actually has two uh, full PT boats that are examples of the two different major types produced in this country during World War II. So uh, PT boats, also known as mosquito boats, were possibly the most firepower per tonnage warships of the entire conflict. They carried a variety of uh, machine guns and small cannons in addition to death charges and their main offensive weapon, uh, four torpedoes. They came in two different flavors. Uh, Alco manufactured some of them, like PT-617 that we're on board today, and Higgins manufactured the rest. The Alco boats are longer, at 80 feet long, and they're a little bit heavier, around 55 tons fully loaded. Uh, they are boats, not ships. They get carried to the combat area on the decks of other ships. And then they're put into the water and they can operate in island groups, which is where we spend a lot of our time fighting during World War II. And they could be supported either from small bases cut out of the jungle or uh, supply ships that were used to uh, maintain these. Throughout the war, the armament was continuously upgraded on PT boats. Uh, a typical early war suite would have been four torpedoes in tubes, along with uh, four 50 caliber machine guns and two twin mounts and a 20 millimeter gun. By uh, the end of the war, PT boat sailors had scrounged up every weapon imaginable. This one has a, looks like an 87 millimeter mortar, a couple of 20 millimeters, the 50 cals, a, Army, 37 millimeter anti-tank gun, and uh, probably some other weapons we aren't even looking at right now. There's a 40 millimeter gun on the fantail, an army mount gun that they pilfered from somewhere. So these ships had quite the sting, hence mosquito boats. They could be made relatively cheaply by laminating layers of mahogany diagonally to each other, and then they were rigid and so the test of time. Many of these boats were sold off after the war and continued to serve uh, private owners for decades. And a few of those boats have been reacquired and uh, turned back into their World War II configurations, like these at the PT Boat Museum. The 80-foot Elko boat is probably most famous uh, for being the class represented by PT-109 the boat that President John F. Kennedy, or future President John F. Kennedy, commanded as a lieutenant, or Lieutenant J.G., I'm not sure what he was at the time, uh, and famously was rammed by a Japanese destroyer and sunk, forcing him to help save some of his wounded crew, and then uh, they had to survive on an island for a number of days before they could be rescued. Well, PT-617 is the last Alco boat in existence. Battleship Cove also has a Higgins-built PT boat. The Higgins boats were uh, 10 or 15 tons lighter, about two feet shorter, and were able to get a little bit faster. This one has examples of the later war uh, torpedo launching system. Instead of using the unreliable compressed air-driven tubes, they have uh, modified Mark 13 aircraft torpedoes that can roll off the side of the ship and start much like when a torpedo bomber drops them. PT boats, of course, are driven by three Packard V12 engines, absolutely gorgeous pieces of machinery. They burn 100 octane aviation gasoline and get PT boats up uh, above 40 knots, 40 to 45 knots, depending on the make. Higgins boats like this one tended to operate in the Mediterranean and European theater, while the Elko boats tended to be more prevalent in the Pacific. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the PT boats, be sure to come out and check out the PT Boat Museum's collection hosted by Battleship Cove. If you're interested in supporting Battleship Cove and the work they're doing, We've left some links in the description to their Facebook, their YouTube channel, 
and their website. If you live close enough to volunteer, they have an extremely young and active volunteer force you should come out and support. And if you can't come out in person, uh, they're working on a number of interesting projects that they could use your financial support on. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from viewers like you. Your support allows us to travel and visit sites like this. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when we post new content. Uh, this is one of several videos that we have filmed here at Battleship Cove that will be released throughout the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.